Hi, welcome to another video from Shomu's Biology. This video is about CSI Net Life Science preparation. If you are a CSI Net Life Science aspirant and looking for the guidance for the CSI Net Life Science preparation, then this video is just for you. Because in this video, I'm going to tell you how to start the preparation for CSI Net Life Science examination. So stay tuned and watch the video. Right. So let's start to talk about the CSI Net Life Science preparation. Nowadays, I receive a question from students quite often, and that is how to start the CSI Net Life Science preparation. And when somebody asks this question, how to start CSI Net Life Science preparation, the answer to that uh, is not fixed. You know, the preparation strategy may be different for different people. But for general audience, let me drag it down, okay, or make it simple for all of you. So there are people out there who know about the CSI Net syllabus and also regarding the exam pattern and all these things and there are people who don't know about the syllabus or exam pattern any of that so the thing is that you need to have a clear understanding of the exam that you're trying to crack right otherwise you cannot crack csi net life science exam so for that reason the very first thing that i want to share is that get to know about the exam know about the syllabus of csi net exam know about the uh, different units that are present in the syllabus of CSI net life science examination what this unit stands for get to know about the CSI net life science exam pattern so those things should be clear so this is a prerequisite and once these things are clear now well, let's begin to talk about the preparation and start of the preparation because you know there are different approaches to finish it and we have a video of how to revise the CSI net life science we have talked about that earlier but now we are talking about the start of the preparation so if you're starting a preparation get to know about the exam first so when uh, from where you'll get the details about the csi net syllabus csi net exam pattern everything is available in this channel you don't need to search anywhere else shorts videos are there regarding csi net syllabus and csi net exam pattern and also big videos are out there for csi net syllabus and csi net lines exam so you can watch those videos before understanding this one now let's begin the very first thing that you need i'm going to talk about three important steps the step number one is gathering important uh, components so component means uh, it can be books it can be notebooks it can be a uh, hard copy book or ebook doesn't matter but it can be video lectures it can be internet resources so these are all resources that you are going to need uh, you are going to require in order to prepare and start the preparation for the csi net life science examination so gather all these informations okay this is the very first step and some people always stuck to this step and they keep on gathering materials and 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 all these different components and never use it it's not good idea most of the people will fall into this trap of gathering materials don't fall into the trap of that all you need is a good book or a good notebook that's it along with that you need good quality video lectures or a live face one on one lecture whatever it is you, you join a coaching institute who is providing it or you watch my youtube channel for this kind of lectures it will suffice so the video lecture is there the books are there the ebooks or notebooks whatever is there and a blank pen and paper where you can write down your own notebook while you try to uh, start the practice and uh, preparing for the topics and also you need previous years question papers of csi net life science examination of any publication there is no complications in that so this is the first step gather all these th three things that we need nothing more than that okay you don't need to buy every single material that is available in the market you don't need to gather that because gathering that will give you a false satisfaction in your mind that i gather it i bought it that it. but actually it's a false satisfaction do not pile up all this material in your table instead get one completed entirely then move to the second one now the second important step is build a routine and this is the very important thing you need to build a solid routine based on your own uh, based on your own existing routine you know you can be uh, a msc ongoing candidate so the routine for you will be different msc pass out candidate routines will be different working professionals routine will be different so build a routine as per your own existing routine give yourself two hours at least a day and up to 10 12 hours a day how many hours it is up to you if you are completely devoting the whole day then obviously 10 to 12 hours a day must be required and in that case you can complete the syllabus within six months but if you are uh, you can give only four hours or six hours a day then keep nine months or a year for the preparation for csi net life science examination and required so build a solid routine how to build the routine obviously first decide the the time frame whether it's a six month time frame 
if it's six months then five month practice preparation one month revision if it's 12 months or year time frame 10 months preparation 12 two months uh, revision so these kind of things should be maintained and then based this routine you start preparing different topics remember csi and life science syllabus has 13 different units and there are molecular cell biology biochemistry modern topics and also there are ecology evolutionary biology genetics classical topics so prepare 50% classical topic and 50% from the modern topics together while you're practicing and preparing at the start point of the preparation that is very very important to have a 50-50 match because the modern topics will require the modern topics will be more engaging because they are mechanism based topics but you'll forget more and the classical topics are something which you once placed in the brain will stay with you for a long time okay remember that 50-50 rule and the third and the final step to start the CSNA life science preparation is start with a strategy the strategy can be either start with the most difficult topic that you find or start with most easy topic that you find both of them will work but for my case I believe it's better uh, what I believe is the start with the most difficult topic that you find among these 13 units if you find biochemistry most difficult then start with biochemistry okay because once you complete the most difficult topic the topic seemingly most difficult for you if you complete that conquer that but there is a drawback is that in this case biochemistry or any other topic that you find most difficult will take longer to finish so for example one month or first two month of the preparation time it will take one or two units to prepare which are really complicated as per you or your opinion in that case you might find like 13 units are there i am stuck to only one or two units so don't bother because you have a proper concrete routine you know that if you complete the most difficult seemingly most difficult topic as per your opinion if you can complete those topics in one or two months then you can copy and complete the rest of the topics which you know properly within 10 15 days so that is the idea behind it conquering the fear is very very important what i believe at this point or else you can start with the easiest topic the topic you find really easy in, in that case you can complete and start and complete the topics very fast five four uh, different units at the very beginning one or two months of the preparation that will give you a boost that yeah among 13 units i've already covered four or five units so only eight or seven units to go and that will give you enough kick to move forward either way find out which one works best for you because i as i mentioned earlier this uh, the idea regarding csa and exam preparation start may be different for different people so always uh, experiment and find out which works best for you and stick that is the idea of the preparation for CS and life science okay so that's all about how you can start the CS and life science preparation if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye